Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julia and welcome to a good old full day of eating. I'm also going to be showing you my workouts. I'm about to work out at home and today is a leg day and I love sharing leg days with you guys. But as you guys saw, I had my breakfast. I always start with some water and then I do my reds and my greens. Those just help with overall improving my gut health, improving my digestion, increasing blood flow, nutrient delivery, all of that good stuff. They have, they're full of antioxidants to help fight off free radicals. They help curb cravings. The list goes on and on. And I'm sure you have heard me talk about them before, but I'm hooked. I absolutely love them. I will have them linked down in the description box below in case you want to get your hands on your own. I also take my multivitamins. It's just a convenient little pack that includes all of my multivitamins I like to take. And then for breakfast, I have my classic one egg, two egg whites, and a piece of turkey bacon on a Dave's Killer Bread English muffin. And then I had a banana on the side. And in my coffee, I had a half scoop of the caramel latte level one protein powder. I have been loving that lately. One, it has more protein in it than a typical coffee would. Two, it tastes delicious. And then you don't have to use like creamer or anything with like tons of sugar. So it's a win-win. But that was my breakfast. Good old egg sandwich, banana, coffee. And then of course my daily reds, greens, and multivitamins. But now it's time to get into this lower body resistance workout. Just had my post-workout stack shakes. That is the Formula One and Ignition. Helps optimize recovery, repairs those muscles faster. This is their rapid assimilation protein, so it gets to your muscles faster than their sustained assimilation protein, AKA the level one. That's more of like a meal replacement, having time throughout the day. And then Formula One is specific to post-workout. You know the saying, never waste a workout. All right, it is 2.25 p.m. I've been working on my computer and I'm gonna continue working on my computer for the next few hours until I train a client later tonight at the track. Unnecessary information, but I'm having the most random but realistic lunch ever, and that is a bowl of chicken noodle soup with a side of some turkey lunch meat and crackers just to get a little bit of extra protein. I didn't even make this soup myself. Like typically, I would just make some homemade chicken noodle soup no time for that today. So this is literally just the Progresso and 99% fat-free chicken noodle. Throw it in a bowl, heat it up in the microwave, and then like I said, my side with just some turkey lunch meat and some crackers. Very simple, super realistic depiction of my winter lunches because it is so cold in our house, but that is lunch today. All right, so as you guys just saw, I had a level one protein bar and I'm really not someone who goes for so many supplements throughout the day. I like to stick to more whole foods, but I was just glued to my computer this evening for like the past 
six or seven hours, I have been on my computer working on two of my new clients programs as well as my current clients programming. So it's just been a whole lot of computer work, hence why I needed a quick little bite to eat. Had that protein bar packed with 20 grams of protein. I freaking love them. And now I'm at the track. I train my client at six. It's like 5.30, so I might try and get a quick little jog or walk in before I train her because I've been sitting almost all day and it feels wonderful to get out of the house. But you guys will see my dinner when I get back home. Back from my client session at the track, I did get a two mile jog and then a one mile walk in before I trained her. But dinner is literally just a bunch of stir fry veggies and then some cod. I typically would have rice with this, but I'm kind of riced out since I had it almost every day of 75 hard. And I mainly had it to like fill me up and satisfy me. But now since I don't have that diet of not eating after dinner anymore, I can have cereal after dinner, which typically old me would have eaten like bowls and bowls and bowls of cereal like i had no self-control with cereal ever ask anyone that knows me i love cereal but now like since i have built this like crazy discipline with food like in a good way i can have one bowl of cereal and be completely satisfied also since i'm tracking my macros i'm eating a lot more protein than like i typically would if i weren't tracking so that also helps me stay fuller for longer but dinner it's gonna be a big bowl of stir fry veggies and some cod, and then my cereal will be for dessert, and I have the Quaker oatmeal squares, the brown sugar, so freaking good. I found them at Costco, and they're delicious. But first, we got dinner. Clearly, I just showered, I'm about to go to sleep, and I'm about to finish up water bottle number four, which will put me at a gallon of water for the day. You guys are about to see my total macros on the screen. I completely forgot that I did have a hot chocolate on my way to my client at the track, so I added that to the totals, but I just wanna let you guys know, they are not like perfect by any means. These are just the goals that the app sets for me, and I don't perfectly measure out anything that I eat. I find that that's way too tedious. So I do measure certain things, and then I just kind of like eyeball the rest. So these are probably a little bit lower than what I actually consumed, but I did meet my protein goal, which is what is most important, especially if you are trying to make any type of physique change. Protein is key. If you are still with me, I love you. Your reward is that you guys are about to see an amazing leg day that I filmed the other day, but I wasn't filming like a vlog or any specific video. So I didn't have a video to put this workout into. So we're gonna add it on to this full day of eating and exercising so you guys will get to see two leg days as well as my full day of eating. Let's get into this leg day. Now that is gonna be it for this full day of eating and exercising. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. That second leg day that I just showed you guys, it just hit different. Something about it, I literally finished the entire workout and I was like, I need to film that for YouTube. So I grabbed my camera and filmed it. Didn't have anywhere to put it except for this video, but I loved it so much. So I highly recommend you guys try out both of these leg workouts. You will not regret it. They are both killers. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this realistic full day of eating and exercising. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye.